so hello and welcome back let's take another look at sherlock holmes the awakened when um, in my last video i went to the docks and i was looking for a sailor um which was related to um a person that apparently was kidnapped by someone and so what we're gonna do now on the docks we found some posters like one of pers uh, posters because there was someone else missing apparently the wife of the missing person put up these posters and she's in an area um the port shanty town so let's try to find that shanty town and meet that lady um and ask her about that other missing person because this may all be related so uh, maybe I can ask someone regarding the location of that shanty town. Are you able to help me? It is a shame I can't answer. No. Apparently they can't tell me where it is. This is just looks a little like it, right? Is this familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone. Or maybe just go into the dock again. It's kind of complicated to find this, but back there. Yeah, we got it. Okay, there's Shanty Town. We're here. We're supposed to look for a house with um, a red cloth over the entrance. So, doors. Yeah, red rag hangs over her house's entrance, so we'll just have to take a look around and find her. Because this is getting intriguing, right? We get stumbled across the case where there was a servant missing because he apparently was kidnapped. This guy is taking a leak here. And, um, apparently... May I ask for your assistance? There are other people missing. I mean, it's, it shouldn't be surprising that, you know in London at that age I guess Can people I do go person? missing in between just like Sorry, they do today sir, I but I guess there's something really mysterious happening here right that was a, a weird drop that he just did there so where do we have a house with a red wreck over the door oh we've got some People we can ask here. Just one question. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Okay. Apparently he can. Let's ask this guy. Okay, so apparently we just have to keep looking for the red house and people can't direct us to it. Which would have been a tiny bit more immersive in my opinion. Um, you know, where someone goes, Oh yeah, you know, I know who put up those posters. Just go there and there, and you'll see the red wreck. She always marks it all with that. So what do we have here? It's pretty uh, dark and gloomy here. So it's actually a bit hard to see, in my opinion. No place to go there. I think this leads back to dog right doesn't it yeah I guess it does so I think I'm about to leave the shiny town again right <laughs> yeah I ran in a circle already this is where I got the notification. I'm at the right place. I don't see a red rack somewhere. I guess that's um. Two. Ah! That looks like a red rack, right? Does it? There we go! We did some detective work. We looked for people. Let's take a look around. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Gervas is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. 
I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire, big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Did you leave her at the doctor? Okay. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a um warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. How would you describe this Solsby? He was big and strong. Um he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like uh like it was made of metal. Well, the voice acting isn't too bad. I mean, it's probably a child actor. So, you know, maybe it's not like an Academy Award performance, but that was pretty good. And uh, Roy Solby was the guy that we had um, suspicions about earlier um, when we were looking for the kidnapper, who apparently was like this big guy. And um, Roy Solby wasn't that. He's like really small and thin. And so apparently someone is using his identity, right? And uh, he just described him as a big guy again, and Solby isn't that. So someone is walking around using that name, probably. You still have the necklace that Solsby gave to Solsby, right. Gear vest left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Alma um, medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so where is the? Ah, that's a shrine, I guess. Okay, so let's take a look around. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? I guess that's the amulet. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Hey, new Steam achievement, high profile. I should have helped Alma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. I'm sorry about my English. I try hard, but the rules don't make sense. It's stupid. So what do I do now then? Not pretty boys are very left them with how many Hmm. So that's Roy Soulsby that we met. He's of English blood around five five. Uh average build. So he's not really big and we can see he's got no scary metal eye. So yeah. Maybe I should pin this. If I need to, I'll work to Or do I have to pin this and then talk to the boy? Just like my brother. Emma's gone nope. and geared vest too. So I will be staying here. Rather tragic story there. How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. No, okay, so maybe we should try and go back to that Salisbury guy and ask him again. And maybe with the description that I have now, he can maybe able to tell us whom that boy is talking about. Um, I could also ask some uh, workers, some dock workers, maybe. So let me take a look around whether there's anyone here. Doesn't look like it. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Hmm. So now I have to find that salt big guy again. He's around somewhere around the ship that was set on fire. 
So I think he's on this side. Not quite sure. I think that's him up there. I'm actually quite proud because I managed to Do you know anything about this? find him again that quickly. So here's Salisbury again. What are you golfing at? I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Gidves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. <laughs> okay. That did not help me one tiny bit. Do you have anything else? Maybe. I need a little Dutch courage to walk in this fog. But I'd have to walk through the fog to get to the pub. <sighs> That's just cruel, that is. Can't provide that. Okay. Say you. So let us go and check out the pub, which we haven't been to. Hope I can find that quickly again. Um, it's like pretty close to the entrance of the whole area. Because I think that's the only place we haven't been to. So because right now we're kind of like in a dead end. Uh, at a dead end because... Um, the kid can help me anymore, can give me any more answers. Um, Salisbury isn't willing to say anything else. So warehouses. Could look around here. I mean, I could look around here, right? So does maybe anyone know anything about this guy? Help me, please. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Hmm. Hold on, let me try that first. Go and see the... Find the pub. Go in there. Such a convoluted little area. But I like the atmosphere, right? And I would think that... No, maybe I'm. that's a cliche. But I wouldn't be surprised if that looks kind of... Whether that isn't like really realistic actually. So where was the pup again? Just gonna keep walking around in circles. And where is it? I thought it was somewhere around the entrance, and the entrance is right here. That's where I came in. Probably not going to be outside here either. Or is it? Let me check this out. <laughs> okay. Star of Gibraltar, that rings a bell. Not like a famous ship. Maybe something related to a catastrophe or something? Or is it something from a Lovecraft story? I don't quite remember. So I'm running around right now like a headless chicken, as detectives do. I'm trying to find the pub. What's up here? Nothing. Here's the shanty town. I don't think the bar is the shanty town, right? So the boy was there. He says there's some sleeping corners. I don't know whether it's my sense of orientation or whether this is like hard, a little hard to find right now. Kind of looks a little like a pup. Greetings, miss. We shall soon see. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. 
Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Hmm, not as observer. Chapped lips, whatever that means. Just turn the belly. Uh, here we go. A little too tight. But what does it all mean? Morning sickness. Okay. Unaware of a pregnancy or trust hiding a pregnancy. <sighs> I really can't tell. Where she's trying to... Let's say she's hiding it the barmaid is in the early stages of pregnancy hence the slightly distant belly and hints of morning nausea she tried hiding a swollen bellow by wearing trousers that are tight okay she was trying to hide it i guess so let me tell her your clothes are already tight and soon they won't fit at all how far along are you i i thought i'd hidden it better and she was how trying to hide it are you a doctor in a manner of speaking He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. So let's ask about the soft topics in now. Port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precise? The ship sank near the third pier. Next to yeah, that's where I was. That's where the guy is. So, no anyone from Metallic Guy. I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. So let's see, what can we offer? Never heard of it. Okay. Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Have you been drinking? Doesn't look like anything to me. What do you know about this poster? Yeah, we found Our something. Woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. So what else do we have? Salisbury's convert. with a Roy Salisbury? Roy Salisbury? Hmm. I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Would that be enough? I have no idea already. Is there anything we can do in a mine palace? Hmm, we need... that and we need some observations yeah we got two wrong only wow we got that right yeah obviously but i didn't really get to that other than by trying stuff so Okay, so Dirty Summers is the guy, I know. <sighs> hmm. I don't think we can solve that yet. And what is this? 
Okay, it seems like Roy Salisbury could be his accomplice, but we don't know yet. So let's take a look around because I learned that you really have to be observant. Oh, Sharon. Nice. Servants. Why is Watson doing the walking in place? Can I? I can't talk to her anymore. So I guess I've exhausted everything I can get from her. And I guess we now have to go back to. The Salisbury guy. I really don't know whether that will help me anything because I don't think I have anything more, anything more proof, like any more proof um, to tie him into the whole kidnapping thing. But maybe if I mention that name of Dirty Summers, maybe I'll get some reaction or something. Yep, yep, yep. That's actually a pretty cool area, I have to say. Still feel like, you know, a bit of it is trial and error. I mean, the story does make sense so far. But with the Mind Palace, it seems like I keep trying sometimes and that will get me to the solution. So, what yeah. Confront. Salisbury, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. I wonder whether the confront was red because I sh because it's a like more aggressive action. Doesn't mean I'm involved though. Hmm. Boulder Dash. Sorry, you lost me there. Okay, can't confront him anymore. So, so let's try that again. Maybe I did something wrong. Mr. So, what, what makes so this is gonna repeat the whole thing. So, we're gonna. Start with this. That worked. Across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Boulder Dash. Sorry, you lost me there. Hmm. Mr. So. So let's try again. We had. Uh, he abducted the thing. Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. But how about your this? Card was found at the crime scene. Yeah. That's enough to make was wondering about that. I wasn't getting deeper into that. Be serious. And. Now maybe about his corruption. It's true. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm more ears. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else okay. can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. Alrighty, so let's head back to the barmaid now. And then, after that, we should examine 
some warehouses, especially the ones marked with red color, red paint. I'm actually starting to get a little better. Not really good, but getting better at navigating. I'm finding my way around. Okay, so... Because he said that he was at that bar always all the time. So let's... Oh, we can now confront her. I have the feeling that you know more about dirty summers than you're letting on. I have nothing more to add, sir. So let us start. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? Yeah. He's going to the pub. Sir Lloyd Salisbury testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. Well, taken gone on and limp here. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Many people are missing, and the main suspect based himself in your establishment. One word to Scotland Yard, and your life takes a turn for the worse. Now, oh, he keeps threatening with Scotland Yard the whole time. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key. Go and do what you will. Okay, so now we've got a rusty key, and now we have to find that room that she mentioned. Nope, that's the exit. Okay. How many doors, how many entrances, entrances and exits does this bar have? It's another one, so maybe it's this one. Yes, that looks more like it. Strong menu of the moving crates and warehouse area. So let's see. Five shillings, that won't go far. And let's go sailcloth. Let's go summers. High quality sailcloth packed in wooden crates. Quantity 50 crates. Total 50 pounds. A lot. Job is to move crates in a warehouse area. Dirty Summers hires man in a pup's private room. Okay. And now. Press scratches, deeply carved. Symbols. I don't recognize them. Okay. So, I guess now. Well, let's go on another limp here. <sighs> so we need... Uh, this we didn't try yet. Um, that. 
Now we need a yellow one. Hey, I never went south. Yeah, so we got that information. So now we should go and go back to that warehouse. Which if I remember correctly, we've been there before. I have to go up somewhere, right? Should unpin this evidence at this point, right? Not here. Oh yeah, we're in Shanty Town again. Still, I mean. Let's get back to the docks because I guess that's where the warehouse should be. Yeah, these are, these I think are warehouses, right? Ah, there we go. Unlikely that this warehouse has the goods. Why not? It's got a red sign to it. Oh, he mentioned unused, right? So. Are you able to help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. I need to pin that other evidence. Anything about this? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Help me, please. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. But that's weird because it said inside the sailcloth warehouse, which is marked with red paint. This is marked with red paint. That this warehouse has the goods. So why is it unlikely that? Are you able to help me? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know. Anything. Okay, so for some reason it's unlike it. this is the one. This is kind of odd, right? Because we don't have that many warehouses. How does he know that that's not the warehouse we're looking for? Why does he immediately say it's not it? Because, I mean, according to the evidence, it is. I don't see many, I don't see any other warehouses with red color. That number twelve. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I did that. So I can already also skip this thing. Ah, okay. Now I remember. I remember how to do this. That was actually pretty cool. So we've got the lock in sight, and we can see that. I have to bend it so the middle is the lowest and then a little higher on the left side, a little higher on the right side. So. Let's try this. Nope. Lower on the right, higher on the middle. Okay. Yeah. Higher in the middle, lower on the right again. No, I set that other way around. Yes. <laughs> nice. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. So we've got another investigation scene. So let's try to find the little boy. Good quality.
quality, but torn in many spots. Mold. That's why you don't leave cellcloth lying out. Oh, that was interesting. Well, it wasn't, but... This crank saw some use. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. I wonder whether there's more I have to do here. Fit for a crank. Okay. Well oiled and well maintained. So I guess I just need the crank. It's a lifting mechanism. And there's another one here, right? It's stuck. No one's used it in a very long time. Okay, so let's see if I can even... There's more here. If I can actually pick up the crank. So this thing will let me lift something, that crane over here. So what happens if I do... <laughs> With all that rust going on that thing, I probably can't move the cart. So let us try. Ah! So maybe something is below it, like an entrance maybe? Okay, now the creepy stuff hopefully begins. Cannot return after leaving. Wait I'm here, just Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful. That sounds like a great idea. Okay. So Holmes is alone in here. And before we continue our adventure, I'm gonna stop the recording and continue it another time. I uh, hope this was interesting to you. If you're interested in getting the game, so I've been out since uh, since Tuesday, and uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.